If you've ever wanted to delve into why the PlayStation 5 has very fast load times for both in-game and loading speeds, then this is the video for you. I'm going to explain why the PlayStation 5 is so fast with its in-game loading times. So the first reason why it has very fast loading times is its custom SSD. So with the PlayStation 4 and previous consoles, they've all used internal SSDs very similar to PCs. While this generation of the PlayStation 5 is the first PlayStation where it has a custom SSD where it can process up to 5.5 gigabytes per second. It is the fastest SSD internal with any games console and faster than any standard PC to this day. So that's why internal SSD is super fast. So it has a significant jump in comparison to any other console to this day. Another reason why is it also has a custom in and out processing engine. So usually the way in and out data is processed is through parallel. So it can normally only do singular parallel data transfers. So it means that you can have multiple parallel processing at the same time which allows for faster SSD speeds. It allows the PlayStation 5 to reduce the workload on the CPU to allow it to do other tasks. Talking about offloading CPU tasks, the PlayStation 5 also harbors decompression hardware. So basically this offloads CPU tasks by having dedicated hardware towards heavy tasks instead of software. So that's something that they used to do with old game consoles is they would have software to do heavy hardware tasks while the playstation 5 model has specific hardware dedicated towards heavy cpu tasks it also features the cracking compression algorithm this will allow for more data to be stored inside of the ssd by having advanced compression software. It just allows games that are very big in terms of size. We have games that are 100 gigabytes to be made smaller to be able to fit more information into the PlayStation 5 for it to run faster. It also features software to clamp down on bottlenecks. So bottlenecks are essentially things that slow down the information from one point to the other. So basically we have dedicated software to allow smooth compression of big data. It also features direct storage APIs. So APIs are essentially on a website where you have a large database to be able to collect data from. So the PlayStation 5 has its own dedicated API. The PlayStation 5 can have data access without using the CPU. It's really good for rendering textures and large assets in game, such as the new Spider-Man 2. We see that there's a really fast load time between the A point and the B point when you go from different locations really fast or Returnal, how those doors open really fast and how the PlayStation 5 can really showcase those fast load speeds. Another reason why it's really fast is the Tempest 3D audio engine as we've seen with the Pulse 3D headset. The Tempest 3D audio engine essentially offloads its tasks from the CPU to allow better audio for your PlayStation gameplay but also allows faster game times because it's not overloading your CPU. It just basically means that the PlayStation 5 will be more efficient during gameplay and overall we found that there are many systems inside the PlayStation 5 to allow faster load times and it's incredible when you delve into the science behind it all and delve into how it all works. It's very, very awesome.